Earth is beautiful. We have countless wonders that can render us speechless for the rest of our lives. But amidst this heavenly beauty lies a smorgasbord of terrors and chills. From battle-scarred battlegrounds to hotspots of natural disasters, and let's not forget our deadly cities, some extraordinary places have the potential for deadly consequences for those who do not tread lightly. Here at List 25, we've previously looked at 25 dangerous places, but we thought it was high time to look at 25 more. I'm Mike with List 25, and without further ado, here's the world's 25 most dangerous places, 2023. But before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content, join our Discord, think of becoming a member, and actually, again, most importantly, share. I'm still getting people that have no idea we've been back, and it is June 6th as of this recording, so we've been back almost a year, and people still don't know we're back. So please, tell everyone. All right, with that out of the way, let's go. Or not, because it's very dangerous. <music> 25, Whitnam, Australia. Whitnam, once the location of an asbestos mine, is currently officially designated as a contaminated site due to the tragic deaths of thousands of former visitors and residents caused by, well, asbestos exposure. Despite warnings, a few daredevils still attempt to sneak into the area, especially on the way to Karangini National Park. However, it's strongly advised not to be one of them. The health risks associated with asbestos exposure pose severe threats to your lungs and overall well-being. 24. Skellig Michael Mountain, Ireland Skellig Michael Mountain, known for its appearance in Star Wars The Force Awakens, may have gained popularity among tourists, but it remains a very dangerous destination. This rocky, untamed island is surrounded by wild waves, and reaching the ancient monasteries requires navigating 600 uneven stone steps. Unpredictable seas and high tides often prevent boats from docking, while rockfalls and otherwise terrible weather intensify the hazards of the climb. To ensure people's safety, the government restricts public access by granting only four boat licenses per year and imposing limits on the number of tourists. 23. Hua Shan, China Hua Shan, a mountain in China's Shangxi province, is a celestial marvel with five peaks, including the mighty South Peak, at just over 7,000 feet. Here you can find the legendary Trail of Death, once conquered by daring Taoist monks. This treacherous path, suspended over a daunting gorge, offers no railings or barriers, just chains and stone walls to hold onto, with a modest safety rope for reassurance. The trail of death demands unwavering courage for a single misstep can prove fatal. The treacherous trail has claimed over a hundred lives, but thousands of brave adventurers travel here yearly to take on nature's challenge. 22. Ramri Island, Burma Ramri Island, a peninsula connected to the mainland by a sprawling swamp, is home to countless saltwater crocodiles. While it's relatively safe to travel along the roads linking the island to the mainland, venturing into the swamp poses a significant risk, with little chance of survival. During World War II, Ramri Island became infamous for a horrifying incident. As hundreds of Japanese troops attempted to retreat through the perilous swamps, they were mercilessly attacked and eaten by the crocodiles. Tragically, almost every soldier fell victim to these reptiles, forever associating the island's name with the bloody event. 21. Afar Triangle, Ethiopia The Afar Triangle is a low-lying area in the Horn of Africa that spans across Eritrea, the Afar region of Ethiopia, and touches Djibouti and Somalia. It's characterized by its unique geological features. Within the triangle, the Earth's crust gradually pulls apart along three rifts, creating a junction resembling three legs. This process, known as rifting, occurs at a rate of 0.3 to 0.8 inches per year for each split. As a result, frequent earthquakes and long, deep fissures form in the ground. The valley floor also sinks, reaching depths of up to 320 feet. Between September and October 2005, the Afar Rift experienced 163 earthquakes, with magnitudes greater than 3.9, along with a volcanic eruption. Half a cubic mile of molten rock was injected into the plate along a dike between the depths of 6 and 30,000 feet, 
forcing open a 27-foot wide gap onto the surface leading to what many now believe is a true seismic crisis. 20. Annapurna, Nepal Contrary to what many believe, the most dangerous mountain in the world is not Everest, but a towering peak in the Himalayas known as Annapurna. What sets it apart as the most dangerous is the incredibly challenging climb. See, unlike Everest, which can be ascended with specialized gear, Annapurna requires climbers to rely solely on ice picks and spiked shoes for their ascent. The mountain boasts steep slopes and loose rocks on many of its faces, contributing to a significant number of fatalities. In fact, since 1950, Annapurna has been successfully conquered around 150 times, but it's also claimed the lives of 53 climbers, meaning it has a fatality rate of about 38%. In contrast, climbing Everest with a guide has a fatality rate of about 10%. 19. Australian Outback Australia Exploring the vast outback, spanning over 70% of Australia, can be an unforgettable adventure. However, being well prepared is crucial, as the outback can also be very deadly. Wildlife poses dangers, with venomous spiders and snakes among the concerns. Additionally, the arid and dry conditions make heat stroke a real and swift threat if you become lost or stranded. Tragically, numerous fatalities have occurred in the outback, particularly during the scorching summer when temperatures peak. As such, if you are the adventurous tourist type, taking every necessary precaution and going the extra mile to ensure your safety in the outback is critical for survival. 18. The Zambezi River Zambia, Zimbabwe, Mozambique Located in Africa's Zambezi region, the Zambezi River system extends over 2,500 miles and is one of the world's most extreme river rafting destinations. The river has hundreds of waterfalls and rapids that pass over deep ditches and rocky outcrops. Additionally, as if the rapids and rocks weren't enough, the river is the largest water source for the countries it runs through. As such, it attracts thousands of wild animals who like to stay close to its banks, including lions, hippos, and crocs. Falling into the water is uh, definitely not advised. Fun fact, I once went whitewater rafting and we got to a port in the part in the river where it was very calm, so they told us we could just jump out, dive, just make sure we got back in before the rapids. So I did the thing that like scuba divers do, where you sit on the back, and I'm like, I fell backwards. And so I will for for the editor. I'm gonna scan this in. I'm gonna give you this picture. I have this. So I fell backwards, whacked my head on a rock that was in <laughs> in the water that I didn't see. Um, and my mom's first reaction was to take a picture of me, and uh, we'll put that picture up somewhere. 17. Devil's Pool, Zambia While we're on the subject of the Zambezi River, let's discuss the Devil's Pool. This incredible natural pool sits on the edge of Victoria Falls in Zambia, offering a breathtaking experience for those brave enough to make their way to the edge. Unfortunately, some daredevils often get swept over the edge and end up at the waterfall's base, making the retrieval of their bodies a near impossible task. The risk dramatically increases for those seeking attention on social media, as they often forget about the laws of gravity and overextend themselves for that perfect shot. Even the journey to reach the pool is deadly. Tourists must swim from Livingston Island through the Zambezi River to get to the Devil's Pool, navigating through the habitat of crocodiles, hippos, and other hungry creatures, like I mentioned before. 16. Boiling Lake, Dominica Nobody will enjoy a pleasant dip in this specific lake, as it will literally burn you alive. Meet the Boiling Lake, nestled on the Caribbean island of Dominica. With its bubbling grayish-blue waters permanently shrouded in a cloud of steam, it almost resembles a massive pot boiling away on the stove. The air surrounding the lake is thick with steam, carrying a pungent, sulfuric scent. It's no surprise that hikers have lost their lives here, suffocated by sudden bursts of volcanic gases. The water temperatures along the lake's edges range from a scorching 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit, or 82 to 92 degrees Celsius. But the temperature at its center remains a mystery, as no one has ever measured its scalding heat. 15. Gouffre Berge Cave, France the Gouffre Berge Cave's moniker, the Cave of Death, is a name that certainly lives up to its dramatic reputation. This treacherous cavern has taken the lives of numerous bold explorers who dared to venture within its depths. 
Plummeting over 3,000 feet with a steep descent, the cave's risks are amplified when sudden rainfall often leads to dangerous floods on the inside. Only the most skilled climbers dare to tackle this daunting challenge, as once you reach the bottom, it can take a grueling 15 to 30 hours to make the return journey back to the surface. 14. Caracas, Venezuela According to government travel advisories, Venezuela is often classified as a do-not-travel destination. With its notoriously high crime rate, the city of Caracas sadly holds the title of the world's murder capital. Violence can erupt any time in various parts of the city, posing a substantial risk to tourists. To add to their woes, Venezuela faces significant political and economic instability challenges, and the outlook for positive change, well, appears bleak. Seeking justice as a victim of violence is almost impossible, as only a tiny percentage of crimes result in successful charges and convictions. 13. The Somali Coastline Since 1991, Somalia has faced tremendous obstacles, including piracy along its coastline and a lack of organized governance. Various militant groups also have control over the country. The lack of efficient government has resulted in unregulated waters and poor enforcement of regulations and laws, which other countries have taken advantage of. Shockingly, some nations have chosen to dispose of their nuclear waste on Somali shores, making their beaches the most radioactive in the world. Consequently, the coastline is strewn with hazardous material and toxic waste, posing environmental and individual risks. 12. La Arroja, Peru La Arroja, a city in Peru, has become infamous as one of the most hazardous places on the planet due to its severe pollution. The city's mining activities have resulted in high levels of toxic substances such as arsenic, cadmium, and lead surpassing the safety standards set by the World Health Organization. The residents of La Arroja exhibit alarming levels of lead in their bloodstream, which has contributed to a widespread prevalence of respiratory problems and other health issues. 11. Palma, Mozambique Mozambique experienced numerous issues after achieving independence from Portugal in 1975. A mere two years later, a catastrophic civil war broke out, which lasted for 15 years. Although the war officially ended in 1992, a rebel insurgency emerged soon after, continuing to this day. As well as struggling with the aftermath of their civil war, Mozambique is also faced with religious extremists, most notably the Islamic State, or ISIS. In 2021, these extremists seized control of Palma, a town in the northeastern region. During their occupation, they displaced over 40,000 residents and contributed to the devastating death toll in the area, with thousands of lives lost. 10. Istanbul, Turkey The North Anatolian Fault may rupture within the next five years, although we can't precisely predict when. That is terrible news for the 12.8 million people living in Istanbul. Over the past century, this fault line in northern Turkey has been gradually moving westward. A devastating earthquake in 1999 with a magnitude of 7.6 left Izmit in ruins and claimed the lives of as many as 45,000 people. Experts warn that the next earthquake will likely be even closer to Istanbul, towards the city's south. Tensions along the fault are growing, increasing the chances of multiple more minor quakes or single catastrophic event. 9. Kabul, Afghanistan Traveling to Kabul, Afghanistan is strongly discouraged by the U.S. Department of State for very good reasons. Terrorism, ongoing military conflict, the risk of kidnapping, and high crime rates make it an extremely dangerous destination. As if that wasn't enough to deter daredevil tourists, border crossings are frequently closed, causing additional difficulties for travelers. In certain circumstances, foreigners actually face a higher risk of imprisonment and will definitely encounter challenges in communicating with their relatives should they be kidnapped or, even worse, imprisoned. Afghanistan may also feel no need to inform your government if you're in a sticky situation. That's a hard pass for us. 8. Bikini Atoll, Marshall Islands Before World War II, Bikini Atoll, formerly known as Eschholz Atoll, was a captivating paradise. It boasted beautiful beaches and crystal clear blue waters. Unfortunately, the atoll's existence was tainted by widespread nuclear testing. Today, it exists only as a radioactive wasteland presenting significant risks to the human race and all life forms. The area poses a grave danger due to the high radiation levels with an ongoing risk of cancer. 7. Zoon Rouge, France In northeastern France, several areas collectively known as Zoon Rouge 
or the Red Zone, are considered uninhabitable due to the devastating effects of World War I. These areas pose risks due to numerous human and animal remains that can contaminate the soil and water. Zone Rouge is also covered with unexploded ammunition and weapons obscured over time, making it hazardous for construction. To ensure the public safety, the French government prohibited activities such as forestry, agriculture, and settlements in the area since the end of the war. As a result, the area remains sealed off and inaccessible to the public. 6. Death Road, Bolivia The Death Road, the North Yungas Road, is a dangerous 43-mile route connecting La Paz to Coroico in Bolivia. No matter how or which way you travel, this road poses a significant risk to your life. It is fraught with hazards, such as dense fog, steep cliffs that plummet 2,000 feet by the roadside, frequent landslides, and even waterfalls, creating an environment of extreme danger and fear. Until 1995, approximately 200 to 300 drivers tragically died on this road every year. Many of these accidents involved truck and bus drivers who struggled to navigate their vehicles through the narrow hairpin turns, leading to numerous fatalities. 5. Gates of Hell, Turkmenistan the Gates of Hell was accidentally created in 1971 when a Soviet drilling rig pierced a vast underground natural gas cavern, causing the ground to collapse and the rig to plummet. This rupture resulted in the release of toxic fumes, which posed a serious environmental risk. To avert the catastrophe, the Soviets decided to ignite the hole, expecting the flames to subside within a few weeks. However, despite several decades passing, the fiery pit burns to this day. The ongoing release of natural gas from the crater presents a significant environmental danger. In fact, methane, a major component of natural gas, is known to have a more significant short-term impact than carbon dioxide, despite its lower concentration in the atmosphere. It can be over 80 times more potent than CO2 in terms of its effect over a 20-year period. Fun fact, uh, th this is actually one of my favorite thumbnails I ever made for List 25. You can just look up List 25, oops and uh, you'll find it. I think it's like 25 biggest mistakes in the last century, something like that. But it's just a guy standing in front of it and I decided to just make him go, oops. <laughs> One of my favorite all-time thumbnails I've ever created for this channel. Four, the Izu Islands, Japan. The Izu Island chain is a collection of seven small volcanic islands located off the east coast of Japan, stretching for 280 miles. These islands are surrounded by a vast sulfur belt in the sea. In 2000, the islands had to be evacuated due to the release of toxic gases caused by a mixture of sulfur and other compounds. After five years, the residents were allowed to return. Due to the persisting health risks, the population on the Izu Islands is small, and the residents must always wear masks. Living on these islands for just a few months significantly increases the likelihood of developing a life-threatening condition. 3. Farallon Islands USA. The United States used the Farallon Islands, located a mere 25 miles off the coast of San Francisco, as a dumping site for nuclear waste for several years in the not-so-distant past. From 1946 to 1970, before the risks of radiation were fully understood, waste was disposed of in the surrounding waters. While the exact location of the dumping site is unknown, the high radiation levels around the Farallon Islands might indicate its proximity. As such, the U.S. government has imposed strict restrictions, preventing the public from visiting the islands under any circumstances. 2. Lake Kerache, Russia During the 1950s, the Soviet Union used Kerache as a dumping ground for radioactive waste from Mayak. In 1968, a drought in the region caused the lake to dry up, resulting in radioactive dust clouds being carried by the wind and exposing approximately half a million people to radiation. Due to this incident, the World Watch Institute acknowledges Karache as the most contaminated place on Earth. The radiation levels are in fact so high that just 10 minutes of being near this nuclear dump can result in a lethal dose of radioactive poison. Maybe we just stop dumping radioactive waste everywhere. Sounds like a good idea, since it caused the top two dangerous places in the world. 1. Mariana Trench, Atlantic Ocean The Mariana Trench, the most dangerous place on Earth, plunges nearly seven miles beneath the Atlantic surface. It's a kingdom of utter darkness and bitter cold, but the actual danger lies in the crushing pressure. Eight tons per square inch, capable of pulverizing bone. 
Due to the intersection of colossal tectonic plates, certain sections of the trench host hydrothermal vents where volcanic activity occurs. High temperatures and acidic fluids are typical near these vents, which can reach temperatures of up to 572 degrees Fahrenheit. Nevertheless, life persists. Bacteria, crustaceans, octopi, and fish have ingeniously evolved and adapted to this unforgiving environment. So, which of these are the most interesting to you? Would you do the wrong thing and visit them? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below. And as always, like I said, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. And uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time.